Hi, this video is to show you how you can um, assign books to um, children in Epic. So you're going to want to um, um, search for things for your class because you can assign them to, to recommend them. So there's a few ways to do it. First of all, I would go down here to this side and make sure your class settings are set the way that you want them. So Epic doesn't just have books, it also has audio books and it also has videos. So you want to decide whether you're allowing them to have a video or not. So you can turn that on and off. If you want them to create profiles or not, that's like the little um, picture parts. And then you want to check what grade level. Now the grade level is um, the American system. So fifth grade is actually year six. So you're going a year under what you would be, okay? Reading level system, they have all sorts of reading level systems. You can find um, them online. Um, I'm just gonna show you Lexile today in case you, you were interested. Now. In this part, you can go straight into just finding stuff by topic and just so I want a poetry book, it will go and find you all the poetry books. Okay, and you can go back. Um, I want something on food webs. Okay, so that's a very quick way to search and then you can click on it. Um, if you want to, um, you, you, you don't want to do it by topic like that, like there's all sorts of things. You can also if you just click explore up here, you can then see along the top. So recommended will come up by your grade, all right, which is fantastic. It makes it really easy to find um, things that they recommend for your grade level. Lexile level is you can change to the reading age of approximately your children. So I just went and Googled, and I'm going to show you, the Lexile level according to age. So there you go, that is it roughly. So you're looking at those kind of numbers here. Okay, the recommendations here. These are the um, scholastic versions of them. So the higher the Lexile level, the harder the reading is. So you may want to um, change the Lexile level um, to whatever. Oops, where am I going back to? There we go, there. Okay, so you can change. So basically, if I put that up, it now will give me books that are harder, harder to read. Okay, and then you've got comics, you've got read to me, so you've got some books. So if you've got your younger children, it can read it to them, so they can just play it. Um, and audio books as well, where it's just listening rather than um, seeing the pages as well. So recommended is, is handy, and also um, um, searching by topic. You can also just type something in. So if you wanted books that featured cats, you can find books and then you can filter that, those books by, okay, I want them to be fiction books. Okay? And then it will give you only the ones with fiction. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to clear the filters because you don't want anything on there. And I'm going to go back to choosing by the age of, well, you can choose it by age. So I'm going, I don't want cats anymore. So I'm going to go back to explore. And I'm going to go explore by fifth grade and I'm going to scroll down to find something. Oh, look, these top picks. So I'm going to look through, um, oh, award winners. Okay. Oh, that looks quite good. I'm going to click on this and you can see it. And it will tell you all of that, tell you the information, the age range. You can read through it. But you can also then, if you click down here to assign, okay, and assign it uh, to your class, it will then send it out to everybody in your class. But if you want to graduate by reading, you know some children in your class are better readers than others, you can only select certain children in your class. So I just want to send it to that student and click assign to selected and it will come up for them in their library that you have assigned that. Okay, so hopefully that is a good way for you to um, assign reading specifically to them.